So, Dotemu and Developer Tribute Games, they worked on like Scott Pilgrim, and I think the other team worked on um, Streets of Rage 4. <laughs> we getting a new Turtles game. First off, that trailer was fire. Please tell me y'all saw that trailer. When it had the song and the remix, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This reminds me of Turtles in Time, um, Turtles the Arcade Game. Uh, I think it was like Turtle 3, the Manhattan Project. That kind of style is updated. The trailer was hot though, because you saw classic, for example, and I'll, I'll try to link it down here. You saw classic April O'Neil, right? But she was putting a pause on the foot, which is more of a later thing with her being a ninja, being trained by Splinter and stuff like that. So, and then you see Splinter have this boss scene where he's fighting a mouser. He just takes the mouser's head off and it was really detailed and the turtles are doing their stuff and Bebop Rocksteady. And you see the uh, Leonardo running through when they're trying to, when uh, Michelangelo taunts the shredder and Leonardo's running through, which I know some people may not under realize this. That's actually a fight scene. That part is similar to the new cartoon show. Uh, there was an action scene where they were fighting somebody and Leonardo like does that kind of same move. So these guys, it's just these people, I don't know if they're all guys or whatever. They did say that they watched the entire original series when they wrote and developed this game. But I got a feeling they did more than that. And I hope they did. Uh, we, Casey Jones wasn't there. So I got a feeling they're going to do something special with Casey. I would like for them to give alternate skins or uh, alternate things. So you don't just see those characters. You also see like the ones from the 2014 or 2012 series or the 2000 series. Um, if they made a cartoon show like what I saw in the trailer, I'd watch it. Well, I would watch it anyway. It's Turtles. I watched the new series. I'm just a little behind because of everything else I've been working on. So, but I'm trying to play catch up. I mean, it's the Turtles. Turtles are the like best ever. There is no bad thing the Turtles ever do. There's nothing the turtles ever do that's bad ever ever coming out of their show tour still the best concert i've ever been to anyway so <laughs> no seriously if you tell me the turtles are bad in anything i'm that that's the one thing i'm like no there is no such thing as bad turtles i've said it before and i say it again the turtles are the best idea ever they're perfect in everything they do so, uh, and if you don't believe me, let me see if I can show this off. If I can get you in camera, boom. <laughs> I'm standing in my uh, mid hallway that leads to multiple rooms. It's like a little uh, four way and right, Raphael's like right there and then Hulk's right above him. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if you saw the glimpse. Uh, this game, definitely, I think the brawler idea is good. I actually have an idea for a turtle game, too. Tell me in the comments if you guys want me to talk about it. I actually have ideas for, like, how to make a video game work. I, I have an idea for a Superman video game and an actual trilogy of games to make that work, as well as a Ninja Turtle game. This one is a great idea, but it's not my idea that I have that I think would be a really awesome turtle game. Uh, maybe I will do them. T tell me in the comments if you're interested uh i may i may write up when i catch up i got a lot of video i mean i'm way behind those videos is going to be dropping i haven't even edited yet or finished writing up or going through that it's going to be old but whatever i wanted to talk about it so it's going to be done anyway um there's reviews i gotta uh write up and do uh, sometimes i write them up uh with key points sometimes i go off the dome so there's a lot. So I have to actually take a little time out at some point. I've been trying to each day. It's been really crazy with work and family drama and stuff to catch it. So there's a lot I'm going to really try to touch on. I want to retouch back on the Gina Carano thing. I want to touch on the Bill Burr thing. Um, I want to touch on the Lucasfilms talking trash about people that yet they're doing this. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. It may be a little old. But hey, people looked at my WandaVision video or uh, my vision. Uh, excuse me, not my WandaVision. I still have to do a review on that too. My uh, video about Elizabeth um, 
Olsen, and that was months ago, and it just hit now, so it is what it is. Anywho, um, this game looks cool. I like the concept. Uh, like I said, I I'm down. Um, even outside of my blind turtle love, I think this is a good direction for a lot of other people that may want to play. I would have liked to have seen that last game. Um, I wish they would have did more. I was fine with it, but I understood where uh, what people would like. Yeah, like I would like to see more turtle games doing that, and I think this is a great direction for everybody else because you already got my money. As a matter of fact, I don't even know why my money's still in the bank. Y'all should have been took my money. Why can't I reserve the game yet? Where is it? I want it now. I want to reserve it now. <laughs> if there's a special edition, I'm getting it. So I hope they come out with a special collector's edition. They're like, hey, here's this collector's turtle thing. Mm, I'm going to get it. Y'all don't probably believe me about me loving the turtles. I'm going to put it to you like this. The last Turtle movie, uh, I'm still trying to get there. Uh, the first one. Second one, I think I'm missing one. I, there's a Turtle Van version I need to get. I got the Raphael statue one. I bought the Walmart one with, I think it was the Walmart one that had the, the mask. And you turn it red, yellow, or orange for, and then Leonardo's was blue, purple. Uh, and I think there was a Walmart exclusive that came with the little figurines. I bought that one too. Yeah, I bought the movie three times because the one was the 3D one. And the second movie, I own twice. I have the shell version and I have the regular 3D version. And I think I think there's a Turtle Fan version that I need to get. Um, I will be getting the original series. I have them on tape, a few of them on tape, but I want the original series thing I saw with the Turtle Fan. I wish they would come out with the 2014 series. I bought it in pieces the pieces i find but i don't even remember if i have all the pieces but a whole actual box set would be nice because they don't even have all the pieces out there so i grabbed what i could grab and sometimes i don't remember if i have a movie or not but i, try, I grabbed a few episodes uh when i usually have three to five episodes and the 2001 same thing so i really would like for them to start coming out with the turtle collections of each and every cartoon show um and stuff because i will eventually if you come out with it you will eventually get my money um but this turtle game it looks cool i like the brawler concept and it's kind of it's cool too because it's like they took the brawler concept and they took the old school concept and kind of meshed them and they also talked about it i saw ign i think it was that was talking about it when he talks to the people one of the things is so in the original turtle arcade games uh well at least turtles in time more the mutant or the manhattan project one but some people like to play donatello because donatello had that thing because of his staff it actually made him to some people the best fighter but personally i think when it came to the super moves, I think Donatello was good for the regular. Leonardo had the best because he would spin. Um, and I think Michelangelo was good because uh, Michelangelo, the way they did him, the way you could hit, he kind of hit on an angle. They usually say Raphael was the hardest one. I always played with Raphael. Once in a blue moon, I played with the other Turtles. Uh, I did play. I've beaten Turtles. In, Turtles in Time was the first video game I ever beat. And it's the first video game I actually beat multiple times. And I was pissed off. Once again, like I said, they do everything perfect, but something did make me mad. I just thought of something. There was a game, um, it was Mutant Mayhem that me and my friend was playing, and it had Turtles in Time in it. Well, if you play Turtles in Time, the first board after you leave when you go through time is the one with Slash in the prehistoric time. It's also, my personal opinion, the hardest board in the game. Once I beat it, I could beat the rest of the game, but I always had trouble with that board. And I think other people did too, because they removed it. And I immediately knew it. And I was like, nope, this isn't the full Turtles in Time. Uh, and it actually made me mad because you took away. I was like, no, give me Turtles in Time. Why would you do that? So outside of that, the Turtles are pretty much perfect. Oh, by the way, I still beat the game and still enjoyed it. It was just, I was just upset because I didn't get the other levels uh, when they had the thing like Alley Cat Blue stuff. We're not even going to get into that. I still loved it, still played it. My complaint is more of a... Like I said, it's always awesome, but it could be a little more awesome. This looks good. Uh, I hope there's more characters than just the Turtles, Casey, April, and Splinter. Like, I would really like if they, like, grab a few of, like, the Mighty Mutanimals. Um, or Yosagi. Oh, if they could put in Yosagi. You know, the, the, the rabbit. Yeah. 
I, I, I can't wait. I hope we get to see more. But this Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge, I like it. I'm getting it. If there's a collector's edition, I'm, I'm owning it. I'm copping it. I don't care. I'm just waiting for them to say it's available for pre-order because I will have it pre-ordered. I don't care. Okay. They say here's the collector's edition. It's $100. Sold. $150. Sold. $200. Sold. I bought the crappy Avengers game. <laughs> and the turtle game no matter what they give me i'm gonna like it so that's gonna be a super investment of no risk whatsoever because i'm gonna like it and enjoy it hence why i don't review turtle things too often but i will do the turtle movies because it's probably not gonna be fair but i would probably do that enjoyment but i'm rambling so tell me what you guys think uh i'll try to remember to link the trailer it needs to be seen it was awesome i watched the trailer like fifty thousand times uh it's a great trailer i would watch a cartoon show like that i think it would be a good idea to do a cartoon show like that because i think it would bring in a lot of the fans kind of like the 2012 one did but like a lot of the fans around i think it would be great uh but yeah but tell me if you guys want me to tell you about my turtle idea my turtle video game idea my superman video game idea and i think they would be good ideas and they would work uh but maybe i'll if I remember to, and I have enough time or I have some side time, I want to do something. Like, I wrote up a Captain Marvel pitch. Not because I'm going to send it to Marvel. But I've, I've, I've speaking against Mighty Marvel a couple times. I don't buy their books like I used to because I think a lot of it's not good. When they do do good, they do really good. But I think because of that, they probably would like, like we're not hiring you if I tried. <laughs> but I actually do have a Captain Marvel idea, too. Tell me if you guys want me to do a series or something about how I would do ideas. Because I have an idea to how to make Captain Marvel actually work. And I think it would be a good idea. I'm talking about Carol Danvers, not Monica Rambeau. She's already awesome. So, to bring Carol Danvers back into the spotlight. and uh, But you guys tell me. I may do it anyway, but I would like to see commentary. And also tell me what you think of the trailer. Are you excited? Do you want to see it? Do you want to do it? Do you want to live it? Do you want to love it? It's Geek Protagonist. You stay safe. You stay healthy. You stay real. And I'll see you. Oh, 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 oh,